Welcome back you beautiful people. We are Gemma and Campbell and this week you are not joining us for van life in the UK because we are going on holiday! Woo! If you are new around here, we have been living on the road now for almost a year, making the most of our beautiful home country of Scotland, touring the highlands and lowlands and finding some of the most beautiful spots to wet our toes imaginable. Earlier this year, as the longest winter that we have ever experienced drew on, we decided that enough was enough and that we needed a short break to get some vitamin D and so we booked a short trip to the incredible island of Malta where we would spend two weeks soaking up the sun. The last time we spoke to you guys was from the incredible landscape of the Lake District, our first English national park in our motorhome. And as you'll remember, it was a resounding success. Oh, it was a nightmare. What an idiot, man. Since then, we have driven the length of the country to meet up with our friend in Bristol for a birthday bash, where we didn't do much apart from drink, celebrate, and meet some goats that apparently kick about the city center of Bristol. Don't ask me why though, because to be honest, I'm still in shock. You join us this week from a campsite just outside the city of Liverpool as we get our motorhome Ellie ready for two weeks without us and prepare ourselves for our first international flight in over two years by packing our bags, cleaning out the van and waving goodbye to our home on wheels. All of which sounds pretty easy peasy and straightforward, right? That's very disappointing. What are we gonna do babe? This isn't gonna be easy. So kick back and relax for another week of van life mishaps and this time some international travel. And if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Why do I just feel like I'm addressing you guys far too often with these words? Our van is an absolute bomb site. How on earth does it get this blooming messy? How? Because we are too busy working to clean. And the reason for that is because we are going on holiday, so we have just 24 hours now to get her completely clean, get all of our work rounded off, and then we can go. But before we do any of that, we get to make the most of actually staying on a campsite for once and enjoy a really good shower. That is much better. Now, if you are used to this channel, you might be asking, why are we staying on a campsite? I know, usually we like to live on a rougher side of life and try and keep our costs as low as possible. It was basically because we're flying out from Liverpool tomorrow. So we decided just to kind of check into a campsite for a couple of nights, get ourselves organised, have somewhere to dump the waste before we leave so we're not coming back to a stinky toilet. And also we got an absolute steal on this campsite. £36 for three nights. That was on a midweek deal, so we got one night free. But still, £36 for three nights. Absolute bargain. So how was that shower, babe? Oh, delightful. Yeah, this campsite is just amazing. Like, the toilet block is, like, nicely heated. There's a radio, really good showers. There's also a touring pitch that you can book that has its own hot tub. How cool is that? I've actually never seen that at any other campsite before, but that might be the new up and coming thing. Hot tubs everywhere. Now we do actually have so much to get done today, so we better get stuck in. I'll go and do the toilets. If you want to go and get the pancakes sorted. I don't need to go anywhere. I'll do it right here. Two pancakes, see if we play. Okay, I don't actually know where the CDP is. And it doesn't actually say it on the map. Maybe there isn't one. I've got just the idea though. Watch out! Okay, so Campbell has actually gone to the cafe on the campsite to finish editing this week's YouTube video and get out of my hair whilst I tidy this van because it is an absolute mess and we want to absolutely make this place clear of any little visitors whilst we're not in it. That would be a nightmare to come back to that. <laughs> Another reason that I'm actually excited to get stuck into cleaning is because the other day we treated ourselves to a cordless hoover. Now before we've just been using like a little hoover that plugs into the cigarette lighter in the front of the van but to be honest it's pretty rubbish. It filled up really really quickly and we couldn't stretch it to the back of the van and I'm actually really really excited to feel the satisfaction of like sweeping up all the dirt and crumbs and sand and whatever else we've got kicking about under the bed. That is a good feeling. I'm not even in the door yet and you can't help but I know, I just toy. wanted to play with my new toy. Uh, so basically I'm going to try and say this without anyone virtually reaching through the screen and flicking my ear because once again I'm talking about gas problems. We have completely run out of gas. What are we going to do babe? No dinner for us. No dinner. 
no heating. I guess we're lucky that it's lasted us as long as it has, but yeah, it's hit that point where we've got none left and I think we're gonna need to use this as a good reason to go out for dinner. Because even we did. Our, we did have this little extra one, but I think that's just going to make us a hot water bottle tonight for bed. There's not really much in it. We don't really want to start cooking a meal and then it just like runs out on us. There's no point. So ah, it's just so frustrating. Really desperate times. I think we're just going to need to worry about it when we come back from Malta. Hopefully up in Scotland, the gas is a bit better because it's just been a struggle since we came to England. And yeah, why not enjoy a nice little dinner out as our last day in the UK. Oh, Van's looking a bit better, however, it just brings on to the last problem that we're going to have and that is packing in 8 metres squared when there's the two of us and all of our possessions are in it. This isn't going to be easy. What did you just say to me? Can I get away with wearing two hats at once to get there because I can't fit it in my case? Is it really that noticeable? Yes! Put it on me. You tell me if I don't look like an absolute lunatic. Like Imagine me line. walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> two hats on. No. Why don't you wear one of my hats then? That's what it. Yeah. I mean, if I'm wearing it, I'm keeping it. Oh, it's very exciting. Pizza time. That was quick. Yeah. Don't get between me and my pizza. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I was really, really excited to make a nice gnocchi. We had cream in the fridge to use, cheese to use, vegetables to use, but pizza it is. Yeah. We got some chips. Chips. Garlic bread. And garlic bread pizza. and a 14 inch pizza. And yeah, this is going to be our night tonight. Packing and munching pizza. I was really hoping for an early night, but the way it's going, I knew this was going to happen. I actually just knew it. It's never straightforward. It's always like, yeah, yeah, right. What we'll do is we'll just get packed, get cleaned, get the work done, and then, you know, chillax, get an early night. Never ever works out that way, That's does it? Fun. Oh, good morning, everyone, from a very, very cold early. I don't even have a radiator that I can put on. I've got no coffee that I can enjoy this morning. How'd you sleep? Um, I was very much waking up. I don't know whether part of that was because of having a takeaway for dinner as well. I saw every hour since <coughs> midnight, basically. Yeah. And then I woke up about half five and just stayed awake because I was too scared to go back to sleep. Yep, so, so yeah. Half six. We're yeah. going to go for a shower. And get the day started. Got a lot. Day still to do today. Shower first. Right, now we just need to get the place actually looking tidy. I'm a bit worried because my suitcase feels very heavy. All right, get these loaded up. We're just taking the thumbnail, that's why we're outside. Now we just need to lift these cases back into the van. Amorovsky! We're going on holiday, babe. I know, I'm really excited. Feels weird because like, I can't remember the last time I actually used a suitcase, but I'm getting a bit old for the old backpack. I mean, we do I own a we do own a motorhome, babe. I think we're at the suitcase age range now. Like, um, no more backpacks for us. I look, babe. They've got. It must be Highlands to Hammocks fans. They've got a statue of me and you. Oh, I wonder who's the one with the big head <laughs> and who's the one with the chopped off head. Let's go and hand the key card back, and then we'll have the road. No bathroom skills. <laughs> so, that was a long shot, I'm not gonna lie, that was a long shot. We're going to Morrison's, we need to go and pick up a parcel. Do you think I can just like lift my suitcase onto the veg wear and be like, yep, I've got 15 kilograms of potatoes I wanna buy. Tell me how heavy this is. And we arranged for our Amazon parcel to be delivered at Morrison's because we're like, oh, that'll be the only place that's really easy enough for us to park. I've just searched it. High Street Morrison's. When'd you ever get a High Street Morrison's? Come on! Yes! Oh yeah, you oh, missed it. Missed it. <laughs> Does this mean there's parking? Yes! Yeah, I just, that, see that parking I just it. drove past? Yeah, that's the parking area. Right, okay, so good job I'm in a small car and I'm gonna do, I can do an easy three point turn. Why we like this? I say we. Was it me that missed the parking? My poor bikes. Every time I get out in direct Campbell. I just look at how rusty they are. They were brand new last summer. I feel like we've hardly even got the use out of them. Yep. Moment of truth. Is Gemma going on holiday? 22. 23.2. 
Oh, dearie me. How much luggage do we actually have? Yeah, two times 20 kilogram bag. God damn! Well, just as well we bought that. That would have been an expensive mistake. So this is everything Gemma's sacrificing from her bag. That, fluffy pajamas, and a second pair of curling irons. Well, I thought if I was uh, if I was taking a suitcase for once in my life, I was like, well, I'll pack my curlers at my waivers, because take everything. Let's see if I've it's space. let's see if it's worked. Nineteen. Well done. Oof, that's good. So that means I can just take all the stuff out of my bag and put it in yours. <laughs> okay, my turn. Should we just get rid uh, of that? Yeah. No, no, this, no garlic for this trip. Okay, no more, no more wash. Okay, <laughs> 20.4. Surely that's acceptable. Okay, so that's stop number one completed. Next stop, we need to go and give Ellie a bath, which is way north of Liverpool, so it's about half an hour drive to get to there. Okay, here we are. Does it have a car wash? Yes. Oh, excellent. We're on. Oh, no. Is that out of order? Why is that going no there? Chance. Oh, I've driven all the way here. That is disappointing. That's very disappointing. We literally checked on Google Maps last night everywhere around Liverpool and it was all just like pay someone to wash your car, which I don't really think they'll do with a motorhome. So this was the only one we could actually find with like a lance that we can do it ourselves. I think we need to leave Ellie dirty. I don't know what else we're gonna do, man. God damn. damn. That's annoying. Oh, that's right. Correct. Further along the road we found a hand valley. So Ellie's getting an actual like manicure pedicure, the full works. I think I'm being ripped off again because it says £12 on the sign and he's saying no no that's only for vans, motorhomes 15 What am I going to do? It's like, an extra large van. I know, yeah what am I going to do, argue with him, oh well. New Year fresh now. Oh she's going to be smelling like an absolute princess when we get back. And that is it, so next stop, car park? Yes, so what are we doing? So we're parking up at a storage and leaving Ellie there whilst we go to Malta. So it's really good, and apparently we also get free transfers to the airport. So it's ideal yeah, for it's us. Perfect. How much was it? Forty-five pounds for two pounds. weeks. Yeah. Absolute bargain. And transfers to and from the airport. Yeah. Yeah. And it's literally right next to the airport. I feel a little bit like we are living like kings and queens because normally we're like, what time's the next bus? How can I get there? Yeah. Carrying our big backpacks, but suitcases and transfers. We're going up in the world, Campbell. <laughs> this feels nice. Okay. All right, simple as that. Yeah, he says the bus will be back in about 10 minutes and then we can just head to the airport, so. Oh, that's good. It's really good. It's called Into Car Parks. Read some dodgy reviews online, but it was mainly things about like, oh, the driver was late, the driver was rude, stuff like that. So it's that usually, us us usually us. nonsense. So one piece of advice that we have decided to take before we leave Ellie is to try and like rodent uh, proofer. We've got some of this Repel Shield stuff, um, which is basically like a peppermint scent thing. I think it's just peppermint oil. Basically, it's non-toxic and vegan, so I guess that means it's nice. And we're just gonna coat all of these kind of cotton pads in them and just decorate the entire van with it. There's a couple down there already. And we should come back in two weeks' time to a lovely, fresh smelling van with zero furry friends. Be free. Okay, so we just need to get the bikes inside, get the wheel clamps on, get the alarm set up, and get Ellie locked down, and then we can head to the airport. Let's go and assess the damage of these bikes, man. It's been so long since we last used them. A little bit rusty. Yeesh. Well, at least we know no one's gonna cycle away with them. Yeah, I mean, you might say we're very paranoid, which we are, but we had our bikes stolen in Italy once, and since then we've just been like, nah, absolutely no chance of ever taking it. So we've got wheel locks, alarm systems, the bikes are inside, curtains are and everything's shut down. No one's touching Ellie, unless I say so. Bye, Ellie, stay safe. You ready to go somewhere sunny? Oh, so much. This weather today is just making it even warm. So there's always a paranoia about having too many bags. So this one is going under my jacket. There you go. Thank you very much. Just looking out that window, however, I've never been more excited to leave the UK. And so it's time to board our first international flight in about almost two and a half years now. 
I'm very excited. I'm so excited. First things first, get that off my face. That's been on there for about five hours now. Oh, no. oh. well, we're here. We are. It feels so good. It feels so good. It's just so strange, like traveling internationally again, and like that kind of feeling of like, am I gonna be allowed in? I don't know why. I don't know why it feels like that. But we were really like nervous, like the whole lead up up to this. I'm just like so glad that we've made it. Start off with a room, do you think? Give us a quick room tour. Yeah, let's look at the balcony. Not a bad view. I, I can see, I think I can see the sea. It's dark, so I can't see actually. But yeah, I was expecting it to be right overlooking a motorway when we were driving along. The air, fresh, I would put it down as. It's fresh, it's not cold, it's not too hot, it's fresh. What's the plan? Are we going to go and get some food? Maybe need to do a wee Google before we go anywhere. I'm thinking somewhere cheap because I'm not in the mood to really appreciate it tonight, yeah. I think. It's all a bit overwhelming tonight. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we can start actually hunting for some really good spots, but tonight I just want something easy. Yeah, and up with the sunrise tomorrow to get in that pool. And we'll show you guys the pool in the morning, exactly. Mm. Mwah. So happy we're here. Good morning everyone. Um, as you can see, it is an absolute glorious morning here in Malta and I can actually see the sea from our balcony. It doesn't get much better than that. So today we're just going to relax by the pool, soak up the sunshine, get, get kind of orientated with the building and actually Malta itself. And yeah, this is where our two week holiday actually starts. We're going to be spending two weeks here, chilling out, relaxing and I'm very, very excited to do so. This one's straight out an advert for the four hour work week though. <laughs> You're right in holiday mode, aren't you? Holiday mode, laptops out, email my emails done. Eat your hat on indoors. I have to say that it's not even just the air con that ruins my throat. We actually had to put the heating on last night because our room is quite cold and we've been sitting outside. And my throat just dries up so much. I remember it being like this the last time we were here as well. It's really, really Good start nice. to the trip. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we'll there be we go. putting that on overnight again. But yeah, did you have a good sleep? Oh, I did. This bed is so comfortable. Unbelievable. So comfortable. It's very nice. Yeah. And the hotel was nice. It's very quiet. Our, our party and guests didn't keep us up. You'll be glad to hear, which we're very grateful for. Um, but yeah, today, like I said, we're just going to chill out. Before we do sign a video off, though, we'll give you guys a full tour of the hotel. So this is everything that has to offer. And perhaps best of all, we've got our own private infinity pool right on the roof with absolutely insane views of the sea. It's just beautiful, isn't it? it Especially is. when you come up at sunset like we are just now. Not gonna lie, we have tipped our toes in there and it is freezing cold. I don't know how much swimming we're actually gonna be doing, but it's a nice place to come up at the end of the day yeah. and just kind of reflect and admire the beauty of actually the surroundings. So. And I think it might be time to sign this video off here. So if you wanna see more of what Malta has to offer, we are actually gonna be doing a couple of vlogs whilst we're here. We can't really help ourselves, it's so beautiful. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on those videos that will be coming up soon. And of course, 
Yep. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because we're getting into the travelling way of things again. It's different from van life, and yeah, it's just very exciting to be back on the road, and we're just so happy to bring you guys along with us this time. So as usual, guys, we'll see you again in the next one. Till then, Slanjavar, and have a great weekend. See ya.